Hey guys, it's YouTube Halion. Before we get started on today's video, I just want to tell you about the new membership program we have here on YouTube. It allows you to subscribe and directly support me through YouTube for $2.99 a month. You get access to emotes and comments, and you get badges based on how many months that you've been a member. And you get priority reply in comments if you'd like to leave comments for me, which you should. Uh, so if you're interested in just helping support the channel and support me and allow me to keep doing this for a long time, go ahead and join up if you don't mind. Otherwise, no worries. Enjoy the content. No pressure there. And uh, that's it. Enjoy the video, and I'll check you guys later. And subscribe if you haven't already, would you? All right, guys. I'll see you later. Thanks. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back. It's Halion, of course, and I'm here to show you another new game. This one is called Archvale. Is it Archvale or Archvale? Maybe it's just interchangeable. Either way, this is a brand new indie game. It is not a roguelike, I think. I'm pretty sure. I think it might be procedur procedurally generated in some ways, but the runs are more Zelda-esque, I think. So it's kind of a, it's kind of hard to describe exactly. It's sort of Enter the Gudgeon meets Zelda meets an maybe simple RPG like Final Fantasy, but there's also like some crafting stuff. Not totally, I don't know, I can't really see Minecraft or something like that. But it has a crafting aspect. So think of it, Enter the Gungeon Compat with dungeon crawling like Zelda, maybe. And then a crafting system. And yeah, yeah, I'll have to show you what I think. But I actually really liked it. That was my first save file. Only I only played for 37 minutes, but I kind of knew it was worth it right then and there already. It is available on Steam. Uh, I'll let you know if it's uh, available on other systems yet, but I'm not so sure. I believe this is a full release. Now, should I play the game on hard? I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know how long the game is, but it, it's not a roguelike, I don't think. You, there is no, you die and you have to start all the way over from the beginning or anything like that. So it's a little bit different from what you usually see from me, probably, but I still felt like it was worthwhile. These seven great stones, it's basically like the crystals of Final Fantasy, right? Go forth, awakened child. The arch awaits. All right. So the pixel art is okay. You know, it's not perfect. The music, it's okay. It's more the combat, I think, here. So you do have a dash, of course. I think there's like a slight tutorial here. So I started a new save since uh, it is very, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Kind of linear. I mean, it has like a, a world and everything. Let me see. So you use the right stick. There you go. And you got the your equipment on the bottom here. I thought I could switch between, but it won't let me actually. And you can use left button, right button. You got the mini map on the bottom right. Speaking of which, maybe I should move my beautiful face over to the bottom left. Hopefully nothing appears over there. All right. Now I'm going to use controller here. We have a melee weapon. Now we got a little dagger. Here come the enemies. Little slimies. Pretty timid so far, right? All right. I don't know, like, I chose normal mode, right? I think if I was playing this game alone and I wasn't planning on recording it, I probably would have done tried hard. Would I have regretted it? Sometimes. I don't know, though. I don't know. But I think for the sake of recording, you know, I don't really want to get stuck. Say, like, I have to get stuck on a boss for, like, a long time or something like that. Now, if I really like the game, maybe I can come back and try it at a higher difficulty. But, yeah. So yeah, you can already tell it's very Gungeon-esque, I think, in terms of uh, the combat, probably, here. I don't have a ranged weapon. Oh, it took a hit. There goes our no-hit run. We tried. Come on. Collision damage in 2021? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. I'm just a little distracted. All right, we got an Onyx ring. Press Y to open the inventory. Let's see, plus one defense. We shall equip that. So you have a helmet, a chest, and a ring. Those are the only pieces of clothing you can equip. That's all you can fit on your body. All right, does anything drop health here? I don't think so. The game is pretty lenient when it came to health, uh, I felt. It didn't seem like an especially difficult game. I never took a death. Well, I think I took an intentional death in my other save files because I was trying to figure out, is this a roguelike or not? Because it uses the tag roguelike, but I don't think it actually is. Now, I was reading that the world is procedurally generated when you start, like, a new save and stuff, but that's, like, the lightest touch, really. I mean, I guess it, it, it could give it some, uh, 
replayability after playing through it once, I'd say. All right, here we go. These are fountains. They act as teleports, and they also heal you and refill your potions. You do have potions in the top left there, as you can see. Our health are the hearts, and the green dots are the dashes. They have, like, a cooldown and everything. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, you can pick up pots and throw them, and it deals, like, a bunch of damage. So there's resources you can gather by destroying, like, uh, little objects and stuff on the ground there. You can see in the bottom right the mini-map. There you go. So we got some shell shards. There we go. You don't have to, like, go really hard into the farming or anything like that. That's a lot of crap. Okay, that's fine. God, imagine dying right now, Dan. Be completely ashamed of myself. All right. We're fine, though. I do have the potion still. So, yeah, there's... It's, it's cute. It's a cute game. I think the monsters actually look pretty good. The music's not terrible, but I wouldn't I wouldn't describe it kind of just reminds me of RPG maker games, you know I kind of fell for those uh, back in the early days of Steam like ah I can buy a like a long RPG for 50 cents What a deal and you buy them it just turns out they're all very similar and they're all kind of weird and stuff like that uh, They all act very similar too. All right, so we have a town here All right, let's use a fountain we heal up uh, this is just a chest where we can store things, I believe. All right, we're going to use the crafting table here so we can make some equipment over here. Let's see, we have a snail rod, shell blade. So it tells you the range. We've got an axe. We've got a helmet. How much do I... How much... How many resources does these take? So that takes everything. I want a new weapon, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so I only have 20? Wait. 25 out of 25. This says 25 out of 20. That doesn't even make sense. Is it inversed? I guess it's inversed. What is a snail rod? That's a magical weapon. So it has a long range. All right, let's make that up. All right, so now it's just in their inventory. And there you go. Now we're snailing. Beautiful. Those poor snails. All right. You got some NPCs, but they're kind of your typical, you know... RPG NPCs there where they don't really have that much to say I found It's just like this town's been in a, in a ruckus ever since the great lord disappeared or something like that, you know I don't really know the story story death as you saw uh, I've only played for you know, not even a full hour, but it seemed like it was worthwhile It's a little bit different for the channel, you know trying out a different thing Maybe satisfy some Gungeoneers out there. Okay, so magical weapons have a slightly different mechanic where enemies will drop these blue stars, and when you pick them up, it increases the rate of fire of the blue weapon in combat briefly. I think it's because magical weapons generally are slightly weaker in terms of just stats normally. I don't know, maybe they get more than just rate of fire, but I've only noticed rate of fire at least. There you go, you pick that stuff up. We destroy everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're fine. Lots of equipment to be found and such. It's pretty fast paced, you know. For this introduction video, you know, we won't keep it too long, but in the future might keep it a little bit longer. Woo! I kinda like, I kinda like this method we had. Let me know what you think in the comments of this. You know, kinda having, Shorter playlists in general for games meaning just fewer videos, but maybe the videos are a little longer You know hour piece instead of 30 or something like that that way like you don't have to come back And try to find the next one and stuff like that Now we could have heavily edit All this and just cut out half the game or something like that, but I don't know I don't know maybe part of me feels like if I have to do that that I'm failing at just being entertaining and lively when recording you know, find find junk to talk about. All right, we already got another town here. We're at Fair Reach. This was where a bunch of stuff starts appearing. This is a bank. I think what happens is you lose half your gold when you die. And I don't mean like you can get it back. I mean like it's gone, baby. I'm pretty sure. So you might want to do that. That kind of reminds me of what is it, Dragon Quest? I'm gonna say. 
I think Dragon Quest used to do that, at least the old ones. All right, so we got some other stuff here. These are weapons you can just buy with gold now. Let's see, we have 209 gold. I don't have any body or head armor. These are magic damage. Can I afford two things? I can. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Tome of Flame, that sounds fun. Let's grab a Tome of Flame and the Apprentice Robes. Is that all equipped now? It is not. Whoa, okay. That's the Tome of Flames. Lovely. I don't think I had used that yet. Hello, Chef. How are you? Take a peek at those elixirs you carry with you. Okay, so you can make them better if I get them some Mega Plums. You gotta find the Mega Plums. Extensive badge collection. Oh, yeah, you spend gold and you get badges. Badges, like, I think... You can only equip so many at once. Uh, yeah, I'll show you when I when we get them. Okay, yeah, over here, you can have up to, I don't know, I don't know how many badges on, but basically, you see the zero out of three? You can fill up three, but some badges take up more than one slot. What is that like? That reminds me of, is it Paper Mario? Yeah, I think they literally call them badges in Paper Mario, too. I can't remember now, it's been so long. Oh, right, and you turn in stuff for that dude. There is another... I thought there was another crafting anvil somewhere. Oh, there it is. Let's see. Uh, do I make a helmet? Sure. Why not, huh? Huh? Oh. Might as well. Might as well. More defense. Let's go, baby. Whoa. My head looks naked all of a sudden, I gotta say. It's disturbing. It's pointing up here. Oh, I think they improve your weapons. How do you improve my Tome of Flame? Oh, God. So a, a plus one does literally nothing. <laughs> I mean, it says it doesn't change the stats. So I, I don't know what it does. Potentially nothing, I would say. All right, onward. Magical weapons may seem weaker than their physical counterparts at first. However, enemies struck by magic drop magic shards. Grab those stars and your magical weapons will become even more effective. All right, we already discussed that. Onward. All right. I think we lose accuracy with this Tome of Flame. But at the same... I, the flames kind of home in. So it's not bad. And it has a high rate of fire. So we can probably find a way to make it work. But I'll try out lots of new weapons as we find them. Uh, another game this kind of reminds me of from a very long time ago. Whoa! Oh, I tried to dodge it. I think, uh, so on the original Game Boy, it was called Final Fantasy Adventure. One of my favorite games of all time, potentially, back then. It's kind of hard to list it nowadays. It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't super complicated. I think it wound up being... The predecessor to Secret of Mana, I'm gonna say. I'm not sure which one came first, to be honest. I think it was kind of like a, it was essentially a mana game. Let me see. So the rate is pretty high. It doesn't burn enemies. What does it feel like? The range is a bit shorter. Rate is a bit shorter, but it deals more damage. Oh yeah, I think new fountains also drop permanent stat increases too sometimes. Plus one defense. Let's see, we got... Is this like a dead end? It's glowing. It is a dead end. We'll need something for that. But yeah, Final Fantasy Adventure. Like, I love this so much, I made a fan game of it, too. It was... I think it, I think it was essentially a, a mana game. Uh, but it was for the original Game Boy. It was really good. You had different weapons and stuff like that. This boomerang just seems fun. It's not magical. 50 damage is a lot. We'll try it out. I don't know how often it, it hits. You know what I mean? Like, if it stays out there and the end, it stays on top of an enemy, will it hit it more than once? It's kind of hard to tell. I don't think it's doing badly. It's getting a couple hits in there, I believe. It seems kind of fun. Alright, what do we got here? What is that? Ah! Okay, I remember this now. I remember. This is like a little challenge room, I think. 
So you hit this, and then you just have to dodge and keep collecting the blue, the same blue crystal that keeps moving around, I think. If you get hit, I don't think you even take damage. You just have to start over or something like that. All right, no hitter coming in. Okay. Gets harder, too. You can dodge through projectiles. Woo! No need to rush here. Gosh, imagine speedrunning this part. I don't I think this is optional. I'm not positive, but woo! Ah! Oh. Took a hit. It's fine. You can start over from that section again. It wasn't a no hitter. I tried. Okay. Come on, that didn't get it. Oh! Still not over. Wait, I thought that was a harder part. I guess I'm crazy. We got the arrow bender. It's a new badge. Range projectiles bend towards enemies. All right, that's good. It just tells you about the badge system. So we can go over here. We can equip it. It costs two slots. All right, so what weapon am I using? The boomerang? I guess that's fine. So it'll curve towards enemies. The Toma Flame already had that a little bit. I think I might like the Toma Flame better. The short range on the boomerang kind of scares me. Also, I don't know how well I am at aiming here. Give me that tome. All right, all right, all right. Boomerang might have a place at some points in the game, though, still. I don't know, like, uh, when it comes to currencies, will you always just need a lot of... I don't really like the games where they make you grind out, like, a, a ton of, like, the low-level... Uh, crafting stuff. So we got these snail shards, you know. What they'll have you do is, like... It'll, like, compound. Like, so to make a... You make a snail shard with uh, five snail shells or something, right? Next thing you want to do, you want to make a turtle shell. Well, to make a turtle shell, you need five... You know, snail helmets that cost five snail shells each or something like that. And it's like, oh, come on. You know? <laughs> Don't get silly. Let's see, what's down here? Next thing you know, you're just grinding for the same material over and over and over again. Hmm, do I keep going down? More defense. I haven't had to use a potion yet. Boom. Let's go, let's go back up and right. Oh, the enemies respawn? Oh. Oh, I fell in the water. Well, that's... I don't know how I feel about that. I'm just trying to make my way. Of course, I've taken a bunch of damage. You can't leave the room till all the enemies are dead. You'll see on the edges that there's a black cloud there. Yeah, so I have to do it in here, too. Hopefully there's not too much backtracking. You can teleport using the shrines, but I had to make my way this way. Okay, very good. Farming up some currencies. All right, whoa. You eventually get some more abilities that's a bit more Zelda-y. I don't know how many, though. It might only just be a, a couple. I have no idea, really. We'll find out together. Whoa, run! Oh, no. It's a lot of crap. Okay, 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 this is fine. Okay, the trick is to focus on the enemy projectiles and don't focus on your own aiming, I think. I mean, you want to aim, but that comes secondary. Especially with this homing in portion of it. Okay. I don't know how much health a potion restores, really. I'm worried that'll, that'll overheal if I use it right now, so I'm gonna wait. Kill the moth. You know what was a, a great, interesting movie? I don't know. I haven't seen it in 10 years, probably. Mothman Prophecies? I think I think a lot of people actually do like it, so I can't say it's underrated. But I don't hear that many people talking about it, at least not nowadays. It was spooky. It creeped me out. Guy kind of just, not necessarily wakes up, but kind of snaps out of a trance? I don't know. He doesn't even think he's been in a trance. And he's just outside someone's house he don't doesn't remember driving to, you know? 
Imagine if you just kind of zone out while driving. Next thing you know, you're just at someone's house. Turns out it's hours away from where you live and stuff. All right, another shrine. Let's check out this question mark first on the mini-map. We got a wooden spear. Okay, there's a... I think, that, I think it's like a dungeon down here, though. So let's check that out. I could go back to town first to craft some stuff. Maybe I'll do that real quick. And we'll come back here and go to the dungeon. I can't afford another badge. That's kind of what I wanted. What if we upgrade a weapon here? Maybe we'll do that. It's not that expensive, right? I feel like I should be using my mouse for this part. So the boomerang, what does that get? Gets two extra damage. Well, how come the Tome of Flame doesn't get anything? What's the deal? Do you have to upgrade it more than once? It's like too little. We'll put the boomerang back. Come on, don't make me spell it up for you here. Alright, if I upgrade it... Okay, then it goes up if I upgrade it again. Alright, let's try that. I don't think there's anything else I'd want to make necessarily here. Back we go. All right, all right, all right. Let's go head off to the dungeon. Another shrine right next to each other. No defense uh, from this one, though. The Licken Keep? Lichen Keep? Lichen Keep? I feel like I've seen that term in many a game. Need a key to go through there. Okay. That's definitely, that's definitely a dragon quest creature or something out there. Woo. I know, like, Pokemon is the game when it comes to creature collection, collecting and stuff, but I kind of uh, stopped following Pokemon a long time ago. You know, like, when I was a kid, Red and Blue, they were the thing. The only thing, really, in terms of games that I played and stuff. I, tr I played some Gold and Silver. I mean, I beat them and stuff, I guess. I don't really remember, but I assume I did. And then I didn't really touch another Pokemon game until, like, Black and White. It took a long time. And but then, even when I came back to Black and White, I kind of realized, like, oh, the game hasn't really changed. <laughs> like, the combat system, like, they add small things, you know, like, I don't really remember. They had, like, the, the dual combat or whatever. We had two Pokemon out and stuff like that. But it still felt pretty minor overall. What game I actually ended up really liking in between, though, was the Dragon Quest Monster series. I actually really enjoyed that, and like, there was like a breeding system in the game that I felt was really interesting and stuff like that. Whoa! Great games. Dragon Warrior Monsters Adventure, I think, was the original Game Boy Color game. They had a couple of those, and they had a few for the DS. I think the DS ones kind of started to drop off. I don't know what these crystals do. do. They just give me a dash back. They do. So, Bo, but why? Oh, hey, why didn't that work? Am I supposed to do this fast? I don't know, really. Oh, it's so dark. Oh, you guys can see. This is just my monitor. Okay. But yeah, Dragon Quest monsters. If you're looking for something, you know, just a little bit more. Woo. Uh, it's less about catching monsters and more about uh, breeding and the combat is I think I think a little bit more fleshed out I don't know I could be behind on the Pokemon magic you know and I'm probably gonna upset a lot of Pokemon goers but it felt at least compared to the first few generations of Pokemon I, I really enjoyed the monster uh, Dragon Qu Warrior Monsters games I think they might be done with them, though, now. I don't know. Or they might be uh, Japan only at this rate. Woo! I remember Dragon Quest VIII came out for PlayStation 2, and that was, like, the Dragon Quest game that seemed to finally break a barrier a little bit. Because the games had very little, uh... Uh... What's the term I'm thinking of here? following in the western parts of the world. Oh! Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. But for some reason, the eighth one was like the one. It had beautiful graphics for the time. All right, what do you got? Copper treasure. So you just turn that in. Bone Crusher Ring. 
You turn the treasures into the guy and he'll just buy them off you for money. I always thought that was kind of a weird mechanism in these games. Like Hollow Knight does it too, where you pick up an item that you just, the, its only purpose is to sell it for gold. It's like, why, you know? Deal bonus damage to skeletons, defense up, attack speed up. Our current ring only gives defense, so yes please. Oh, I haven't tried our spear. Maybe I'll show the spear a little bit. Let's see, I don't have any keys still. I need a gold key to get in there. Guess we're going here. I can't get through that the gate. Come on. I guess I guess the bottom line like I've talked about already like four different nostalgic games to me, and I guess that's that's what this kind of reminds me of in some ways. Okay, I don't know how much I love this beer right now. Give me back my, my Toma Flame. Or the pot. Pot deals bongo damage if you can manage the time to grab it and stuff. Okay, there we go. We got a key out of it. We got another treasure. I am watching my health best I can. Whoop. Ah! Oh, really? Hmm, yikes. I still don't understand the green crystals. Oh, come on! You gotta be kidding. I was just trying to get close to the ledge, honey. Oh, God. Now there, I should have fallen there, to be honest. Oh, God, you gotta hurry. Ah. All right, here we go. But yeah, when I play the, the dungeon here, uh, I couldn't help but think of Zelda, at least a little bit, right? Even the music, there's something about the music. Kind of reminds me. And look at the swingy, the swingy uh, ball and chain guy. What is that thing called? A mace? No, it's not called a mace. A morning star? Did I just make that up? I don't remember. I'm trying to remember now. Morning star? That doesn't sound right either. I right, press this and we're outy. What was down here again? I need a key for this. I guess we'll do it. Let me in. There's another... I think there was another golden key, at least. Throw that. Whoa! So many! Oh, no! That hurt a lot. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Oh, no, there's more. Ow! Man, this room is, uh, painful. You dead? Where's the enemy? Okay, gotcha. I think. That's it? I don't even get a prize? Or I guess I'll use my last potion here, too. What the heck is this? Pick up. Mega Plum! Oh, that's what the guy needs to make our potions better? Maybe it just gives us more. Not certain what it is. Okay. Man, these traps in this room make it... Quite a bit more difficult, too. Alright, back up and to the right we go. Lovely. Open that. I thought I was so smart. Speaking of Zelda games. Okay. Don't know how that works. Alright. No! Ugh, thought I had time. Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. I think you could get, like, an extra key or something in the first dungeon. Like, there was an extra silver key for I don't know what reason, if any. And I think I always tried to brag to my friends, like, I had an extra key in the game that served no purpose by the end. <laughs> what do we got? We got a blessing of power. Attack power is increased by one. Okay, that's good. Is it boss time? Might be boss time. All right, there we go. We got a shrine to heal up. All right, let's go, baby. A visitor? How curious. I long believed the tales of these decrepit ruins had been lost to time. But somehow I am certain your arrival here is more, mere accident. Those who came before you have been dead for many hundreds of years. A faith that you will no doubt soon share. I admit, I admire your carriage, little one. Forgive me. Uh, you are not forgiven because you're trying to kill me. Oh, let's listen to this cool music, huh? Okay, oh, wait a minute. What's going on with these eyeballs? All right, I think I have to kill them. Should I get another weapon? 
I got the boomerang out. I don't know why. Oh! Okay, okay, we're fine. Still just kind of like the range on this and stuff, you know? Whoa! Maxilla. Okay, that's fine. All right, we got these things out again. Okay, eyeball's dead. Now we start wailing. That's fine. Oh no, red phase, new phase. Ow! You teleported right onto me, that's not fair. Oh boy. All right, all right, all right. We're looking good. We got this. Woo! Woo! They're almost dead, but I have to kill these because I think they have a barrier up. Hold on, get the stars. There we go. Bum! Eat my dust, Maxilla. Not super challenging so far, but wasn't like a walk in the park either. You're not of this world, are you, child? This changes things. We shall meet again. Shall we, though? Oh, maybe we shall. Look at that. Plus heart and plus potion? Heart container. Only half? Healing flask. You now carry an additional healing flask. Oh, lovely. I was kind of expecting the, the Zelda noise to play, you know, when that happened. Magic bomb. Deal damage to recharge a magic bomb. Okay, and then I press B to place it. Alright, there we go. Oh, I have to place it over here. Ah, so that gets rid of the barriers. Okay, gotcha. Wild stuff. Okay, and what's this? Oh, that's part of the arch! How many how many pieces are there to the arch? I don't know. That's one arch, though. There's several. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there... I'm gonna say there's seven. One out of seven. Down, baby. All right. And I guess we'd uh, take a trip back to town here and maybe spend some money and stuff like that. So why don't we do that real quick? All right. So let's see. Maybe we buy a badge? I don't, hold on. There's a problem with that. I only have one badge slot here. I don't know if that's that good, though. Hello, little traveler. Yeah, so these all take two bad slots, too. Increase melee, magic, or ranged damage. Look the magic damage. Oh, there goes all my money. So I can't put that on. I think I get rid of Aerobender, because I, I can't notice it doing much. All right, this guy gives me money for the treasures. Hand them in. Hand in the, the lamps, the goblets, and the bells. There we go. Now we got some money. Whoa, whoa, keep it coming. All right, there we go. This guy will make the uh, healing flask better. <laughs> I like that little sound effect. Oh, isn't that cute? Healing brew level one. All right, there you go. Let's see, you just sell the same old weapons, right? Rusty flail? I mean, you could describe something as rusty. I can't imagine it's that good. You know what I mean? There's nothing new I can craft here. Oh, there are some new things. We got iron things now. An iron bow. An iron axe. Iron throwing axe, even. Let's see. I don't know. What's the range on our tome, exactly? It's 200. I don't, wouldn't want to lose that much range. What about that throwing axe, you know? Crabarang? I want to forge a crabarang. Oh, some of these look good. Slime bubbler? What do you need for that? I need a bubble scepter first. Alright, what about the crabarang? What do I need? I need a boomerang and I need 10 crab shells. Okay. I'll have to remember that. Slimy flail. So I just need a rusty flail. Okay, so I can make a rusty flail. Can't I? Or was I buying a rusty flail? I think we buy the rusty flail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Buy that. And then I can craft the slimy flail, which puts slow in enemies. Look at that. Boom. That's fun. We'll try that out. We'll give it a whirl. Whoa! Okay, that's actually a little bit different than I expected. That seems fun. Alright, and then maybe we can upgrade it. 
I don't know how much I'm gonna love it though. Kind of already upgraded the tome a couple times, huh? How much does it cost? Is it the same? 70. So it deals more damage. More damage and higher rate. Going in all in on the slimy flail, I think, for now. We Alright, that's gonna do it for the first episode of Archvale, everybody. Check it out on Steam. I think it was cheap. 15 bucks, I'm gonna say at max price. I think I got it on sale because it was like a launch party. Brand new game. Let me know what you think so far in the comments. You'll see more to come. We'll probably have a whole little series about it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. All right. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you all later. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Make sure you come visit my Twitch streams for all the best cursed content ever at twitch.tv slash every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 12 p.m. EDT.